In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Hello again everyone, we are about to start day 17 here. I would love to tell you that I have a massive, amazing master plan for getting fishing and mining done today, but uh, I don't, so we're just going to dive in and see what the fuck happens. I also have like literally just woken up, but I got some things to do really now, so I'm just sort of like mashing this in where I can. I think I'm going to go back to tempo, but obviously we're going to do bird houses first. And do, do I want, I think I want to, yeah, I think I want to go back to tempo. Um, what have we got on this jeweling ring? Let's just get wealth. And there's another hunter lol, up to 40 now. Just from passively doing these bird houses. Oh, nice. You seed. I think that's the second one. Pretty sure we had one already. Yep. Could probably do a few more tea clogs as well. Let's make sure we have plenty to get up to the next bracket. I don't even know if we have the crafting level for the next bracket yet, but get some more potato seeds as well. Okay. Going back to tempo. We've got all that shit. We need a glory to get there. We want a fish pie. Uh, probably want to get a quick reset as well before going. No arm to hammer up bucket bucket. Alright, why is nobody here? I want a temple world. No I'm not. Why am I not on a temple world? I clicked a temple world at the start of the day, what the fuck? Oh, whatever. Oh shit, I've still got all the crap in my invent. We should be able to get close to our goal today, if not all the way. We should be probably I'm hoping that after today we'll just have to do one more day each of, uh, sorry, one more day combined of both fishing and mining. I'm not doing any cooking today. We're just here for fishing XP. Green spot coming any minute, there we go. First wave's about to come in. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get to that mast in time, I'm just going to play it safe. You get really used to the timings when you do this for like a while. Mass damage, so make sure we repair it in case another wave comes. But it won't come till after the storm clouds. It's always wave, then storm clouds. Then wave, wave. Cannon disables just thrown in there. And there is the fishing level that we should have got at the end of yesterday's session, basically. Get a tiny bit of construction XP when we fix these as well. The masts. If we can put out five fires in a single one, that's another achievement. Combat achievement that is. Guess this is a small game, don't want that as many people in it. It's like three of us on this side, four on that side, there's seven people in this game. I should probably grab another bucket. Because there's only two other people on my side, so. Wanna make sure we can put our wall fires. We can always drop it if we don't need it. I think I should do this one, just to make sure I get it. I'll do that too. I probably didn't need to, but I just wanted to make sure I got a combat achievement. If we can get like closer passively through shit like this, then who knows, maybe we actually get a tier done, but I doubt it. What do we need? Well, we can't even open it right now. Is this going to interrupt me? 21 points. It's a lot of points when you're at combat level 72. Even like a lot of the easier points are just things like kill count, so not really that doable. 
Oh, why did I fish so much? She's almost dead. Well, there's five KC on Temporos, another combat task. I suppose we could check them out real quick while we're uh, waiting for the next round. Like, 20 points isn't that bad if you can do stuff like elites. But we can't really do stuff like elites. We do have like a one one elite or master task of the fire cape, but that's it. I do not need all these buckets now. Ooh, will I get to the mast in time? I think I'm pretty good. Perfect timing. You know what, fuck it, I'm gonna sacrifice a slight bit of XP and load all four cannons. Cause that's another combat task. But I might do, oh, I was gonna grab that green, but it's gone. Go around. Please don't run out of energy. I'm gonna get this green while I'm here. All right, there's another one. I feel like I'm gonna run out of energy just at the pier. We do get it back from this fishing, but not that much. No, the one down. We're barely getting any permits for these games, but that's to be expected without cooking. Just trying to maximize that fishing rate, of course. Grab another pipe. I could probably get a couple of archaeologist ones. We'll probably get the uh, 10 Temporos task today as well. Just got away from that blast there. I keep getting so lucky with the spots moving right as I start fishing at them. There's 43. Edging closer and closer. Holy. Fucking hell man, look at that ship. It's a good job we only have to get to the mass for now. Third game of the day. Well, we officially, for around the first time, have less XP left than XP per hour on the fishing track. So maybe about as predicted, looking to have about half a session left of uh, of this. We're similar from mining, from what we, where we left it. I honestly didn't think fishing was this bad at lower levels. Like, I was just thinking about it, if we had a lamp from something like combat, you know, it'd be a 5k lamp. Like, where would we actually put that? First thought is, well, mining, because mining fucking sucks. But mining's actually quicker than this. So even though the activity sucks, it's like, well, I'd save more time by putting it on fishing. That's a construction level. And there's a fishing level, 44. Wow, we only got one permit that time. Grab a pipe, back in. First one's on the cannons. I feel like there's going to be a green come up any second. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Answer fortune teller. I foretell. One subscription to Widowed in your future. Wow, that's crazy. How did I know you were going to subscribe? Almost got a full invent for the second round. Pretty good one for me. Another one down. Just about got enough prayer for another run. 45 fishing. Probably the last level we'll get today. I don't imagine we'll see another one. Who knows though. If I went straight back into another game after this one, we could probably get another fishing level, but I'm not going to have the prayer without resetting first, and that's going to add a couple minutes. So, I could do it without preserve, but it won't be quite as good. It's probably better than having to reset my prayer though. Come on, fill me up, fill me up, fill me up. One more, one more, one more. Beautiful. All prepped for the next round. Get to go straight to the deposit bucket. Wait, was that the end? Oh my god, I fished a full invent and that was the second round? Or did we just one down it? We just one downed it, didn't we? That's so annoying. I had a full invent and we one downed it. <sighs> 
my prayer is going to run out any minute. We'll make use of it for as long as we can. Oh, there goes the prayer. Bird house is just finishing up now, so we can go get those whenever. I'm actually terrified of a one down and having invent left in my... Uh, having fish left in my invent now, because that was just so much wasted XP last time. It was like 20 times 50 whatever XP that we lost just from having those fish sat there at the end. I, I don't want any fish in my invent when this goes down in case. The amount of people on these worlds right now, it's just feels risky. Having a few is fine, but like, yeah, I don't really want to fish a full invent before first down anymore. After that last round. Oh, we don't have water. Okay, no one down this time. Green right away as well, that's nice. Should be able to get a full relatively quick, I reckon. I think we probably will get another level today, actually. There it is, 46 fishing. Just two more levels to go, 15,000 XP. About 27 minutes expected playtime. So not bad, we will definitely get there tomorrow now. And like I said, we had about half an hour left on the mining. However, that was before we realised that we only needed... Uh, one and a half levels, not two and a half levels, so it's probably even less time that we actually uh, need to do some mining. We should definitely be able to get most done, both done tomorrow, I reckon. And there is the 10kc as well to finish out another combat task. I think that puts us on 22, 23 points. 17, well, we got 18. Well, 17 to go. Could be something, who knows. Right, let's see what our permits are and then go do a birdhouse run. Oh, fuck all. Mm, some rubies actually isn't terrible. Some more cooking XP. That's it though. Alright, uh, birdhouse run, birdhouse run. And we want a ring of dueling as well, probably. Just for after. Birdhouse is reset. We are starting to get like much more consistent nests. Like we get a few per run compared to when we're on the lower tiers, so it is very nice. From the Teak Birdhouse, we've had a total of 27. No. We've had 9 plus 8 plus 7 out of 27, so... Whatever that is. Uh, we've got a quick reset. we probably going straight back there tomorrow, to be honest, so I just want to make my invent the same thing, really. And then... I don't know. Do a few alks. Look at me making use of every second. There it is. Okay. So, how much did we gain today? 27,000 fishing XP. Isn't terrible. Isn't terrible. Oh, there's a quiz master that we have to ignore. At least it wasn't a genie. Or a dunce. Uh, we did manage to get 5,000 Hunter XP as well, of course, from the birdhouses and a tiny little bit of construction. Actually got a level almost to there, just from fixing those masts. And then what, we've got a um, tiny bit of magic XP gain, nothing really. Tiny bit of crafting, nothing really. Mainly that fishing, we have gone up to 46 from 40, so 6 levels gained today, not bad at all. We were almost at 41, so 5 and a tiny bit gained. And yeah, the hunter's up to 40 as well, but that is actually it on, on changes for today. It was mainly just that fishing. Uh, but we are much closer now. I'm hoping tomorrow we can knock both the mining and the fishing off and have them done. We got a few combat tasks completed as well. We are up to 18 points out of 35 for the first tier. I'm not particularly trying for them, but 17 points feels like it might be attainable. Now we've got a few of the Temporos one down. I don't, I don't really know. The thing is, like, we can't really do many of these. It's going to be tough, going to be tough, but maybe we can find a way to squeeze some out with some, you know, like kill the crazy archaeologist with only magical attacks and without being hit by a rain of knowledge, that should be doable. 
Same thing for the deranged, so that's like eight points right there. Shouldn't take too long, it's just one kill on each. Right. I think we could definitely do it. Maybe one solo Tempros run, try to have a perfect run. Shouldn't be difficult, I don't think I've been hit by anything at all. Right. I'm not going to get a giant mall kill with that mall work here. Yep, pretty solid day fishing. Tomorrow, finishing off the fishing, finishing off the mining hopefully, and then we can actually start to get ready for Hero's Quest. We'll have a bit of cooking to go, we need to do Shield of Rav, but that is about it. We should be, I don't know, we're on day 17 at the minute, so we've got 18, 19, 20, 21 left in this week. We should have Hero's Quest on this week, I reckon. Four days should be, no problem. That's going to be all for this one though, if you enjoyed the video please do make sure to leave a like on it, it does help out a ton for pushing me into the algorithm and for letting me know that you enjoy the videos I'm creating. Leave a comment down below, give me some motivation to finish these horrible horrible skilling grinds so we can get back to some more fun content and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss all of that fun content. Till the next time though, look after yourselves, be lovely to one another and I'll see you on the next one.